Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It is me, Lasty, here. Welcome today to a brand new episode of the FC24 Ultimate Team RTG, The Road to Glory. It's episode number 199 today. Damn, tomorrow we hit our, well, our third century, technically, because we've done 100 and then another 100, and we'll be into our third century. Crazy. Hope you're all doing all right. Happy uh, happy Bank Holiday Monday to you. Um, does your football team play today? Let me know down below in the comments. Uh, Ipswich are at home to Southampton later this evening. That is a big old game. I'll be there, of course, supporting on the town uh, and hoping that we can get a, uh, a dub. That would be a, a, a huge win if we were able to get it. Uh, a little bit nervous, though, not going to lie. Uh, if you enjoyed today's video, do me a small favor. Hit that thumbs up button. I'm filming this on Easter Sunday. Um, it's currently half time between Man City and Arsenal, so I'm, uh, I've, I've got it all planned out. You know, 15 minute video, 15 minutes for half time. Get this done. Get down for the second half. Maybe I'll miss the first one or two minutes of the second half, and that'll be that. Um, and then enjoy that. So yeah, my Easter Sunday has been uh, fun, fun filled with football, food, and family, which is just lovely stuff, isn't it? Uh, so today. Today, today, today. Well, the major thing is, the major thing I can really report uh, is that I've I've not played the weekend league. Um, a bit strange situation that uh, obviously with the Easter weekend, it's a four-day weekend, a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. For Ipswich, it's two games, on one on Friday, one on Monday. Uh, I go to all the games, as you know, so kind of difficult to get content done around that, especially with how far away Blackburn was the other day. Oh, we're getting an icon here, ladies and gentlemen. It's the 91 Prince. Prince? Prince? However you want to pronounce it. Uh, the lower version of this female German icon. Uh, and Mike Meinian as well. So we got that. Uh, she doesn't sell for much. She's like 38k or something like that. Uh, but still, we got we got ourselves a promo icon, so that's good. Um, but yeah, just just knowing how busy and 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 stuff the Easter whole weekend break has been, uh, it has kind of like took me by surprise. I thought I'd be maybe streaming a little bit more. I thought I'd have had more time to do this, that, and everything. But actually, the time has just flown by. Uh, so. Yeah, I'll be really back onto it next week, especially after the football today, um, that, whilst you're watching. But yeah, it's been a bit of a, a mad few days, but it's been fun. It's definitely been fun, and I've seen a lot of family as well, which is super important, uh, I would say. Um, it's not all about work all the time, I guess. But anyway, we've managed to fit in some content around it, but the one thing that has managed to suffer is that I've not played the weekend league. I don't think I'm going to be playing the weekend league. That is a bit of a weird one for me. I've... I basically played every single one for the last few years, um, apart from when I'm like on holiday in the summer or something. So yeah, I don't often miss a weekend league, but I figured that the content has been there for me to do other little bits and pieces, and it doesn't really matter too much that we've we've somehow skipped one. Uh, whether it will end up meaning that we don't get another red player pick here, there, every, whatever it may mean in, in terms of an objective. I'm not too worried about. Um, we all know that the, the red card design is not exactly uh, ideal. It's not it's not the greatest thing in the world, is it? So, uh, yeah, anyway, so it's been really nice to have uh, a few days without sweating the game in terms of gameplay. I've been enjoying the menu side of it a little bit more. Um, so I did decide to open this, the Supreme Glazo Pack. 650,000 coins, friends. I've done it with coins, and we are going to get Belgium centre mid from Man City. That's right, Kevin De Bruyne popping up alongside an inform that looks to be Romero from Spurs. Now, I know that the current promo, the Glazo promo... Those players pop up behind all of this, so I wasn't worried. I figure we'll probably still get something. Um, and I wanted to figure out if we could get over 650k's worth of value. Looking at that page right there and knowing that 30 uh, informs are like 30k, uh, I think we've done all right. And then De Bruyne and Vinny. Vinny's like 100k still, which is kind of mad. Um, and a whole bunch of walkouts on the next page as well. This is going pretty well so far. It drops down to the 86s and 85s on the next one. And then you can see a Dempsey at the end of this page. But is there anything on the next page? There is two. 
icons and the higher rated versions as well. We get the 94 Prince and Sol Campbell 91, who is around the 380 to 400k mark. That, my friends, has just made this one worthwhile. I mean, at the time, yeah, he was over 400k, but I just checked before filming this video, uh, and he is about 385 at this moment in time. Prince is about 80, 85, something like that at the moment. Um, could potentially be a bit of a baller. I'm not I'm not too sure how good her card is going to be. Um, but yeah, and then Dempsey with the five-star skills. He's pretty cheap. But I did the calculations, ladies and gentlemen. I worked out the average cost of 85s, 86, 87, 88, blah, blah, blah. All of these cards added up together. Oh, Prince at the end of the pack as well. The duplicate Prince. We got two icon Prince in this pack um, and a, th a third Prince in this episode. Uh, the total of this pack all together... 1.2 million coins uh, if you add up everything so it was we got we got basically double our money's worth in fodder and players that we could potentially use and of course we do get loans here as well uh, i end up choosing francescoli here because we've got both prince and dempsey uh, don't think i'll use that loan though well, I'm not too sure. I might end up needing it. But uh, the other thing we got out of this was 20 game loan on the new 92 Ashley Cole as well. So we could use him for a whole weekend league run if we wanted to without even needing to to purchase. So uh, that's quite cool as well, isn't it? Um, so yeah, we, we genuinely, we did well there. Um, we didn't get like one of the top, top tier icons. We didn't get the the Croy for, uh, we didn't get one of the Galazzo top players like the Alawiran or the um, uh, the Ginola, but uh, we did really well. And 1.2 million coins all told, very, very good. So with the Tons of dupes that I had from that. Uh, I know I needed to put them into something. And the only thing that was really there for me at the time was the 87 plus Encore Hero player pick. The thing that I've opened a few times. It's been alright. It's not been too amazing. We got that Tevez out of one of the... I'm going to do it again. This is probably the last time that I will even try this. Because it was Saturday into Sunday. So, I mean, I don't know... Oh, the clock's changed. I wonder, did EA put the content out at five or six? Let's have a little look. Whilst this is going on, I'm going on the console to see if we got any Sunday evening content or whether I've got to wait a little while for it yet. Um, all we did, we got the 88 Encore Icon player pick. And it includes one of three Thunderstruck Winter Wildcards, Totty or Future Stars icons. No base in that. Oh, I'm going to have to do that. 87, 87, 88. Yeah, I'm a little bit annoyed after we get Vola here and Tevez again, of course. Um, I'm a little bit annoyed that, that I, I could have maybe saved that fodder for this. But I've got enough in my club. I'll get this done for tomorrow's episode. Oh, I'm quite buzzing about that, not going to lie. 88 plus Encore Icon player pick. Who knows what we could get from that. Hopefully we could get a totty one. That would be amazing. Uh, but yeah, I'll give that a go. You'll see that tomorrow. Um... But for now, all of the fodder that was duplicate has gone. We spent it. We got another Tevez pop up. And it's always in that first spot as well. There's something going on there. Um, and we take, obviously, the fantasy uh, Rudy Voller this time. Am I ever going to use him? Uh, potentially. I don't know. But potentially, we could try him out. I'm also very interested in maybe buying and using some of these Galazzo players. Um, considering... Their price is actually a lot lower than I thought they would be for some pretty usable cards. Like, obviously, um, we can get Peter Crouch from the objective. We could then Evo him, and he turns quite good. Uh, we'll get the Robin Van Persie today, uh, the, the junior one. But the, the better version of Van Persie is super cheap, like 100k odd, uh, which is crazy. And then that Berbatov looks very good. He's cheaper than I thought it was going to be, like the 93 one. I'm thinking about going out and spending some of the 1.6 million coins I've got left on some Galazzo players and seeing seeing what we can do. Now, granted, it will probably just be in like rivals and all that sort of stuff this week because I haven't played the weekend league. Um, I do. I guess I do have tomorrow to do that. Maybe maybe I'll get the weekend league done for you just randomly out of nowhere. I don't know. Uh, we we shall see. But I've I'm, I'm not too bothered if I don't. Because um, I at the time of filming this, it's like half five on Sunday evening. Uh, I won't play any, play any tonight. But there is of course Monday for it. But I have to leave the house at like two three p.m. So maybe if I get up tomorrow and play, I could. I could but there's potential there. 
There's potential. Bank holiday Monday champs. Loads of people will be off work and school and stuff. So, you know, it won't be like a sweaty, sweaty Monday. It'll just be everyone playing, right? We'll see. I'll let you know. Well, you'll find out in tomorrow's video. Maybe we'll do like an icon slash Golazo team uh, for a weekend league run or something. Uh, um, spend some of our coins on players. Use some of the players we've got in the club. Use whatever we get in the Encore icon player pick. That could be quite fun as well. Um, but yeah, oh, I'm also going to check one thing whilst we're here. Did they bring out a bigger pack than the 650k pack? Is there a 700 or 750 uh, promo packs? Go all the way to the end. Uh, not that I can see. No, they didn't bring one out. Okay, so it's good. I'm glad I opened that one then, the 650k. Uh, there may be a bigger one that comes out over the next couple of days, but uh, that, that 80, what was it? 85 times 60 at base minimum seemed like it was just like, very good value and if you get a player like Sol Campbell who's worth good money um, then it just does make sense and uh, of course we also have like 83 times 10s this week as well so we should be able to bump the fodder up pretty well uh, and you know do the icon player pick do whatever player comes out uh, and all of that sort of stuff you never know there could have been a player that's come out as well let's have a little look now let's basically get tomorrow's episode over and done with now shall we uh, who am I seeing I'm not seeing anyone new so far Maybe there wasn't a player tonight. Um, Miguel Gutierrez. Oh, one of those, uh, what what do they call this? Uh, pundit pick. Miguel Gutierrez. Not bothered about that, not going to lie. So, uh, yeah, maybe maybe that was it, unless an icon came out. Let's have a quick, quick browse through that as well. Doesn't look like it. No, okay, so uh, it was a pundit pick. Not going to do that. I've not done any of those so far. And I can honestly say I've not been bothered by any of the cards that they've they've brought out. They all seem a bit behind the curve. Um, but yeah, go for it. If, if you like those cards, go for it. Uh, here's another 10 player picks. Didn't quite go the way I wanted it to. One walk out and it was a duplicate Beth Mead. Uh, we are going to do another 20 of these though before the end of the episode. Um, I've got them coming up real soon. Uh, and I did end up getting... The Robin Van Persie objective done. So we get the 80 times 5 that completes that section as well as 500 XP. And an 89 rated uh, Robin Van Persie who, I have to say friends, doesn't even look that bad. He's got two of the best playstyle pluses on the game. Uh, and I know that the reason why the other one is so cheap is because this one's not too dissimilar. And it's free. You get it in 11 games of squad battles, right? Um same play styles and all sorts but i just i wonder if that other one with a little bit more pace and a bit better dribbling could actually be a complete beast in game we'll see we'll see i'll have a little look i'll uh i'll do some window shopping and then potentially buy some stuff uh to show you guys tomorrow now here's let's end with 20 player picks in a row uh, i'll put them double speed so you can see what we end up getting here uh, the idea would be to get a galazzo player um, get get a couple of walkouts i decided in this batch i'm taking the highest rate of player no matter what even if it's a duplicate versus two non-duplicates uh, i'm taking the highest rated one because that's what i'm gonna do even if they're 83s i'll take them uh, we do get our first walkout in mane right there all right, we've had a three dupes so far. Another dupe there in Jekko. Um, another one there as well. It does seem a little bit weird to take them over, over just the 81s or whatever. But I, I said to myself, no, take the highest rated. You can always put them into a team of the week player pick. Grealish, all right, not bad. Uh, oh, we got one. Oh, it's the lower rated Cola. Um, the, the higher rated one actually looks like a really good defender, especially if you can put him into the Evo. I'm not sure if you can or not. Uh, you probably can't, but he looks very good. I'm sure I could put that 91 into the Evo as well. Uh, 85 Sauerbrunn right there, 84 Dudek right there, and then 84 Colo Moani. So a couple walkouts here and there, one Galazzo player, which was the main mission of, of this, um, I put those dupes into a player pick for Team of the Week and get myself a David Neres. So we've come to the end of the episode. I do hope you have enjoyed. If you have, please feel free to do me a little favor of smashing the thumbs up button. That'd be absolutely brilliant. Um, subscribe as well to my channel if you're new. And then, like we said, we know what the content is for Sunday into Monday. So uh, for tomorrow's video, you'll see some of that. I'm uh, looking forward to to 
breaking open that icon player pick, seeing what we can get from that. That'll be, that'll be interesting to see if we hit a dupe or something uh, really, really good. I've got a lot of the totty icons just looking in my club right there. I mean, I've got three in the starting 11. Um, anyway, socials are down below. Uh, have a great rest of your day, my friends. Take it easy. And I look forward to seeing you in tomorrow's episode. Peace.